So how to have conviction in your trading and how to take the best trades pre-market. So everything is based on stats. So according to what the uh, stock did in the previous gap, uh, I then um, look to trade short or long or simply avoid it. So MDGS, we have news over here, fluff news, right? Products for protection against COVID-19. I start looking at the last gap that we had, uh, 22nd of May, and I see that we have a pre-market. So over here, right out of the gate at seven, uh, when many brokers open, they put up press release, 708, we have a cup pattern and goes up. And then after 7.30, around 7.30, we have the uh, fader, all right? Now let's look also at the 6th of May. So we're here again, press release around seven. So seven, 7.30, we have the top, and then we start fading all the way down. So again, it was a good pattern for short. Both of these uh, days were on low volume. Then we have a very high volume over here, 64 million. So let's see how this behave. In this case, uh, press release came at seven again, uh, 720, 730, and then stays lateral, touches the J lines, which is the first target, starts curling up, and then has a breakout over here at the open. And then af uh, after 10 o'clock, fades all the way down. Let's look at another one. Over here we have a previous day. So this is not considered a first day. Let's look at this one, last one, 24th. So we start having again, press release at seven, 710, again, high 730. We have always what I call the trend break. So we can see there are pattern over here and then it starts fading till two o'clock. So looking at the stats, we have a stock that on the last 11 gaps, all right, above 10%, uh, in pre-market and 500k of volume uh, during the day, we had 90% red with every spike 18%, every downside 21%. We know this company has revenues of 273k. We know the burn rate is uh, four times that. Uh, operating expenses, so they don't have cash. They don't have uh, nothing over here to survive. They are a shell company that lives through dilution. So many uh, offering, you will see 4 to 4 b and so on. So going to our chart over here, MDGS, we saw that uh, for the majority of the gaps that we had in the past, 7.30 is our time when we have the peak of the day. So over here we have example 7.30 press release. We will look for the trend break and then we start like fading all the way down. So today, plan was very simple. Over here in watch list, MGGS looking for a gap and crap and short, same like FRSX. So when in the morning I tell you where I will push my, put my, uh, my money, where I will have my attention on is due to stats, volume and price action. So in pre-market, we always had a pretty low price action for something like $2 stock. You can uh, watch the last webinar we had uh, this Wednesday. And I explained what is the minimum volume needed uh, for a $2 stock uh, in order to have a continuation to the uh, upside. Over here, volume is very low. You can see that we never cross the, the 50s. And then we go all the way down. And at open, if you remember, I was saying something, uh, I think the most important thing to know about MDGS, I was saying that the volume, uh, 
Let's see if I can find it again. Mm -mm -mm. Over here, A plus short for the day, FRSX, uh, MDGS, and APDN. And then I said, here, low volume and control move will lead to a big dump on this volume, cannot sustain the move. This for the fact that once we have only uh, a push of 250K volume over here, this is not a, a strong volume that will lead to an upside breakout, break of 250 and push all the way up, all right? This is not something like Gene that proved us that it can push because also Gene had bars of 2 million volume per minute. Here we are like one tenth of that, one, one eight, one tenth, 200, 250. So this led to a fade. And I'm glad that a lot of you recognize how to trade this. So anybody traded this morning, MVGS traders? Okay, same story for FRSX. So conviction to go short based on stats. So let's go to see FRSX. And this is the review of what we, we already passed in pre-market. So I'm not saying this 2020 after the market happened, or oh, everybody is a genius. No, uh, was recorded, you can go back, we'll upload it tonight. Uh, on the website, we had two dollars a sell resistance. We have a ton of bag holders over here trapped. We made even an example if Jimmy was holding this at 250, 290, that he has uh, his cells over here ready, his cells over here ready. So on the gaps today over here, he will look to sell. All right. Float is 21 million. The news is totally fluff because we went over this and we were seeing first pilot project, all right? So nothing crazy over here. It's not a game changer for the company. And then we started seeing that they have zero revenues. Come on. And they have operating expenses of 15 million over here. Come on. And they have a burn rate per month of 4 million. So this company, if it doesn't have uh, dilution, it cannot survive. So it will use the pump news to trap long traders like it did in the past and to dump on them their shares. So it's like that to survive. And then we go to see the history of the stock. So my first point is what happened on low volume days? What happened on big volume days? And this will be ready, I said, a couple of weeks, but maybe will be uh, three, four weeks, because we're adding so much uh, new features uh, will be simply incredible. Nobody will have something like this, traders. And you in the room will have a certain discount on this. So gap and crap over here. So you see open and failed on the gap. And now the biggest volume day, 55 million. How it behaved? Again, pre-market went up from 8.30, started came down, gap and crap. So fade never went above that push to the pre-market. And the stats tells us 10 gaps, 90% fader, average downside, 15%. So it means that sometimes we'll have an average, sorry, um, uh, we'll have a downside of 10%, other times of 25, other times of, um, let's say, 12. Average is uh, almost 16% downside. Now we go back and check our uh, stock. We have that lower high two trend break. And over here you had the first short pattern that we had over here at 184, 183. The second short pattern that we had at 177, 176. The third short pattern that we had over here. So this is absolutely amazing in order to recycle, share, add, and scale out. Um, anybody traded FRSX uh, besides Carfit? I think it was this is trade. 
So shorting the top, covering, shorting, covering, probably he was sleeping over here and then covering all the, uh, the way down over here. All right, so that's the point. The point is you don't have to trade every single thing. If I tell you VRA today will be a little bit more bitchy, it's for this fact, and I told you correct over here, Starting to, have, starting to have higher lows, I said, do not take this rejection because you have volume and you have higher lows over here. This, all right? I said, this is the good to short the first one. This is good, the second one, but then over here. And then over here, we had set pumpers. When I say that this will be more bitchy to stick on a PDN, which would be a fader, right? But I said it open. Stick to three things for the small caps. If I fucked up, Sean on Crawford, you can tell me right away. The point is not being right, but to for you to learn the setup. I don't give a damn being right. I need that you learn the setup and that you know how to recognize the best setups to trade. So when I say over here, A plus short this morning is MDGR, MDGS, FRSX, APDN is definitely this shit. There's nothing else. So again, APDN, we know a lot of bag holders over here. We know the news has no possibility of a push, all right? They didn't find the vaccine. It's just saying that their children are doing good, all right? I can, I can say that this morning I did good uh, on my breakfast. Who cares, all right? So what do they do? They trap all those poor retailers, even here in the VWAP. Remember when I said, wait, don't trade this long. Let's wait for that flush the trend break and then shorten. And you can short over here. Each time it goes below the J lines and you have these trend breaks or on this one. So these are the A plus setup that you have to trade. And all this, if you're new, you go over here, trading setup, you take your hours, your days, your time, and you study all this stuff over here. Plus the beginner course. If you want, you can take the advanced day trading course or the mentoring. But this is the stuff you have to do. So when you see in the morning that, I don't know, I will refer to him because he's trading pretty, pretty good over here. You see Carfit doing this stuff is because he put in the work. Uh, he can be retired. I know what he does for life. But at his age, I think he's 40. He's, uh, sorry, buddy, maybe you're 37. I don't know. He's still there every day on the weekends while his family is at the beach and everything, and he's still there studying, all right? So that's the important. If you want to succeed in life, you have to really work for that. So question now for you traders. Uh, we can have in the question room over here. The stats buddy will be available, I believe, three or four weeks, all right? So we're adding really so many features that nobody around will have it. Okay, Mike, let's go to see how to spot the difference between gap and crap and gap and extension. Example coming up. So this is from, um, I don't remember actually who made this, but this is, is perfect. So once the, the price, right, breaks that pre-market high, or you can have a pop and right away flush, so that's a stuff move, that's called gap and extension because you break that pre-market high, or it can lead to a squeeze, can go up all day long. Generally, the best short gap and extension happen at first 10 minutes. So for me, in order to, de uh, to detect, right, if we will have a gap and extension or uh, gap and crap, is only watching at the volume and the tape. Those are the leading indicators of the market. Uh, we can back test, we can like have stats, we can see 
that nine times on, out of 10, a stock made this same pattern, all right? But then that, in that moment, to have that confirmation, you will need to see the tape. So you will need to see how the, the, the supply and demand behaves. If we will have more uh, supply, then this will lead all the way down. There will be more demand, then we'll have a push. So uh, that, that's it, all right? Other questions, traders? Just write in uh, question room. Just write in question room mentally. So, any fundamental news can help us. Uh, news are catalysts. Uh, it has to be treated like uh, an edge. So if this morning we're seeing MDGS and FRSX with very fluff news, so preclinical trials or producing products anti-COVID, this is not any kind of uh, one of those catalysts that, has, uh, that have a big impact on the price action that uh, can attract a lot of traders, a lot of let's say bag holders, all right? A lot of buyers, and that can lead to an all day long or uh, two day long or on over extended play, all right? So then even for um, the news, uh, surely you will have an edge, but then you need the price action. Okay. One good trade. APDN, would it be correct to retake the second rejection here? Okay, so um, I'm going to explain this based on the setup, right? Based on the, the playbook. So this over here is your A plus setup. Then we had this setup over here. So I'm going to do like this, otherwise it seems very abstract. All right, so this is the A plus setup setup. This is the second one. So once then we shift from above J lines to below J lines, what happens? Happens that we have all these traders, all right, above the web, this red line that are basically stuck. And what we'll do each time that price will try to push, we will have sellers jumping in. So yes, this is a correct, uh, zone where to short you just need like a little bit more slanted trend line to take that short over here and you can do that as i said always using a word tick or book map or having a good read on the tape So this is luxury, let's see, this is uh, Joanne and Oscar. So they waited FRSX that push, so they traded perfectly as our rules are. So short over here, covering a little bit late short over here, but good short and cover, very good short and cover. So this is how to trade it almost perfectly. The only thing that the second trade should have been this one or this one. Risking this level. Is it clear traders over here how to trade this? Question for everybody, because I think that a luxury made a perfect example over here. No one good trade, won't be fighting that. Iris is asking, the fact that FRSX and MDGS were only up 15, 20%. Nobody, no. Because you have to consider that in pre-market we're above 30 or even 40%, if I remember correctly. So that's already for me enough to fall on them short. Fade, mental question.
you can improve fade tracking everything. So I need that you study uh, the webinar that first Carford made uh, and then Nicholas uh, Crab made about uh, one, uh, journaling your trades, also about tracking your trades, uh, because that is very important. So for example, what I, what I uh, do with uh, Spring Mentor, right? Then each person privately writes me, and this is all the private stuff we do in mentoring, plus private one-on-ones. I make them study like tape, record your tape, look when we have shift of momentum, and mostly is, let's say you, we trade six patterns, they have to track how many times one pattern, uh, how, how many times one pattern works, how many times not. So for example, end of the day, end of the, the year of the month or the six months, you will have that, I know, a long dip will work six times out of 20. Uh, another one will work like 200 times out of 300. So we have clear stats on where you have to put your money. And that's the most important thing. SG, first you need to read tape. But I don't want to talk about brokers, especially because this will be recorded and available for everybody. But many brokers don't have what is called called tape. It's only a bunch of numbers over there. A real tape is something that you have to use DAS or Sterling. Or even better, you take Bookmap with all the feature and that's like the, the A plus setup. So it's like you want to trade. It's like you want to race uh, 24 hour Le Mans and you're having a uh, Fiat 500. Question of Iron Eagle, but just, just posting question, but it doesn't matter, and I will look. When you see big volume spike in the next candle, how much red volume you're looking at from your break of fail of change? It's not that I need to look for that volume, is I look at the tape, buddy to see how the taper is reacting. If we have sellers in place, if we feel the, let's say the half dollar, the whole dollar is not amount, is the, the amount of percentage of, of volume that I need to have. Miguel, Jay, have you had any success with traders in mentor that are under PT? Yes, buddy, yes. Even because, okay, for PDT, you can take only three trades per week, all right? But even if you have a small account, you can open two accounts. So you can have actually six. But also this is very good because it puts you in the, um, in the mentality that you have to take only two or three A-plus setups a week. So that means that for this day, you will take only this short, and discover you cannot recycle or the stuff all right but that's is good enough when you take your profit then you run away and that's it for the day so you become selective should a j-line curl be taken if it has narrowed or resistance to be what no Tammy. uh if the volume is abnormal let's say you have prints for a small cap of uh, let's say six dollar stock, six, seven hundred, eight hundred k per minute. Then even has a VWAP above. I will take the long, but being very careful. Let's say, let's say over here, right? Can take a long over here, but very careful. If this rejects, I'm out break even. So I'm not using anymore. Let's say the previous stop over here. All right. Okay, traders. So this was only um, 
a recap done in this way today to answer your questions. If you have more questions, you can uh, reach out a car for Charlie or Peter for the big caps options. Um, congratulations to some traders that had the best trading of their life this week. Um, so, oh, G poll, what do you suggest to focus to understand better self tape reading? Um, yes, tape, tape reading gives a lot of confirmation. Uh, I made, I think, our three or four hours of tape reading webinar one on one. So you have to get that on, uh, on, on the website. That's really, really worth it. I will add, believe in uh, July, August, more content, even for who has, a, has always access. And also for the advanced day trading course, especially for pre-market uh, setups, which right now are the best ones, the best ones. All right, traders, uh, we'll have a one-on-one soon. Be back in one hour for trading with you for the afternoon. Very good week. Very, very good week. Uh, very happy for this team. Thank you very much, everybody, and see you later.